Hello then, welcome to another episode of Marano Tips here on Football Test. In this week's episode, we'll be previewing match week 17 of the English Premier League. The packed fixture legs means that at the time of recording this video, there are still two matches to be played. That is Liverpool against Newcastle and Spurs against Fulham. Before we get into this week's video, there are a couple of things I would want to talk about that might have a huge impact on how the games will go this week. The first thing I would like to mention is the growing number of COVID-19 cases in the Premier League. The last testing showed that 18 staff and players have contracted the virus. The teams speculated to have been affected are Manchester City, Sheffield United, Arsenal, Fulham and West Brom. This could have a tour on how these teams perform this week. In view of this, Big Sam has proposed a two-week break from football, which he calls a circuit break, to help stop the transmission of the virus. This, I think, will be considered by the FA. And if this is agreed upon, there will be a two weeks break from the English Premier League. The second thing I would like to mention is player welfare. Most managers have had to change their lineups drastically in order to avoid injuries to first team players. These changes affected the way the game was played during match week 16. The performances were abysmal and it was hard to watch. More changes are expected in this game week, with some teams having just less than 48 hours to prepare for their matches. With that said, let's get into the first game of match week 17, which is Everton vs West Ham. Everton's match against Manchester City was postponed due to the coronavirus situation at City. Because Everton did not play during the midweek, it has given their players the opportunity to rest and prepare for this match. West Ham in their game against Southampton made a couple of changes to the team, which then affected their performance. I expect West Ham to make more changes in this match. Because Everton will be fresher of the two teams, I see Everton having the edge in this one. My score prediction for this match is a 2-1 Everton win. And my tip for this match is Everton win or draw and under 3.5 goals. The second match is Manchester United vs Aston Villa. Manchester United didn't play particularly well in their previous match against Wolves. They took advantage of a tiring Wolves team who had less than 48 hours to prepare for the match. Man United won the match thanks to a Marcus Rashford late winner. Aston Villa played really well against Chelsea. They were afraid they should have won the game, and they came really close to winning only for a John McGinn long shot to cannon off the crossbar. The table have turned here for Man United. This time around, they are the team with less than 48 hours to prepare for this match. I expect Ole to make a lot of changes to his lineup. Because Man United have a good squad depth, I don't see the changes affecting them from coming away from the Villa match without a point. My score prediction for this match is Man United to win by 2 goals to 1. And my tip is my United win or draw and both teams to score. Next up is Spurs against Leeds. A manager who loves to attack against a manager who likes to defend. It is going to be fun. Leeds blasted 5 past West Brom in their previous match. They controlled the game and it could have been more than the 5 goals they scored. This is a match that shoots Mourinho. He is coming up against a team that will throw men forward and leave space behind for his team to hit on that break. Will Leeds be naive like they were at Man United and throw players forward without minding what happens at the back? Or will they be cautious of the Spurs counter attack? I think they will do the latter. Either way, this match promises to have a lot of goals in it. I see Spurs winning by 3 goals to 2. And my tip for this match is Spurs win or draw and both teams to score. Next is Crystal Palace against Sheffield. Crystal Palace came out with a draw in their match against Leicester City. They were poor in the first half, but the good news from them is that they did not concede. In the second half, the performance was much better and they ended up drawing the game by 1-1. Sheffield United poor season continues. They lost to a Burnley header at Burnley, even though the performance was a bit better. They are one of the teams with some COVID situations, and I think it will have an effect on them psychologically in this one. I see Crystal Palace winning this match by two goals to nil. My tip for this match is simply Crystal Palace win. The next match is Brighton up against Wolves. Brighton made wholesale changes in their match against Arsenal. The performance was poor from them even though they controlled the game. They were just having possession for possession's sake. A slight loss of concentration saw them concede a goal. Wolves in their match against Man United started the game well. They created a lot of chances just that they couldn't take them. In the second half, their players were tiring and Man United made the most of that. In this match, my score prediction is a 1-1 draw. Brighton have a habit of scoring or conceding in the second half and so does Wolves. 
So my tip for this match is going to be higher scoring half being the second half. West Brom versus Arsenal is the next match on the list. West Brom were destroyed in their match against Leeds. They scored an early on goal, which gave Leeds the platform to destroy them. Arsenal weren't that good against Brighton. He had a little bit of magic from Saka, who found Laka with a cross from which he scored. This match is the kind of match that favours Big Sam. He can put 10 men behind the ball and make it difficult for Arsenal. Arsenal are not good at breaking things down, so I expect this match to be low scoring. My score prediction for this match is Arsenal to win by 1 goal to nil. But my tip for this match is under 3.5 goals. Moving on to Burnley against Fulham. Burnley at home are a difficult team to beat and they showed it once again by beating Sheffield United by a long goal. Fulham are one of the teams with staff and players affected by the coronavirus and I think it will affect their performance in this match. My score prediction for this match is Burnley to win by one goal to nil and my tip for this match is Burnley win or draw and under 3.5 goals. Next up is Newcastle vs Leicester City. Newcastle are a team recovering from the COVID situation they had two or three weeks ago, and this has affected their performances of late. Leicester rotated their lineup in the match against Crystal Palace, and they were nearly made to pay for it, but a late Avibans goal rescued a point for them. On paper, Leicester are a better side than Newcastle, and I see that showing in the performance. I'm going to back Leicester to win this match. My score prediction for this match is Leicester to win by two goals to nil. And my tip for this match is Leicester City win. Moving on to the last but one match of the week, which is Chelsea against Manchester City. This match may or may not be played due to the increasing number of COVID-19 cases at Man City. But if it were to go on, I think the Man City players will not be in the right frame of mind to take on the tax ahead. This game will be perfect for Timo Werner. Guardiola won't change the style of play. He's going to push men forward, and this would allow space for Timo Werner to run in behind. My score prediction for this match is Chelsea to win by 2 goals to 1 and my tip for this match is Chelsea win or draw and over 1.5 goals. The final match for this week's episode is Southampton against Liverpool. Southampton's previous match against West Ham wasn't as entertaining as we hoped it was going to be. Most of the players looked tired, but their match against Liverpool is at a perfect time for them. The players have enough time to recover and get ready for this match. Liverpool knowing that my United and other teams are on their tails chasing for, chasing for the top spot. I don't think Liverpool are going to relax either. I see this match being a blockbuster. My score prediction for this match is Liverpool to win by 3 goals to 1. And my tip for this match is Liverpool win and over 1.5 goals. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. And let's know your thoughts in the comment section.